I'm about to channel welcome. Right, this video is to notify everyone that I've recently completed and uploaded a gas safety course, online training to use this equipment that us jewelers use safely. It's mad in the UK and other countries as well. People have notified me. You can just buy or rent the gas equipment and then you just take it home with no training, no knowledge of what you're doing and you're just left alone to set it up yourself and then use like in your house. It's, it's mad. This stuff is so dangerous. <laughs> the cylinders are literally like bombs. If you don't know what you're doing, uh, you can literally kill yourself and other people. Uh, this kind of thing, you can do basic silver soldering with. I used to use it. If you look at my early videos, I was using these quite a lot. With just a bit of common sense and a bit of uh, sensible attitude, you can get by with just using that safely. But with uh, the oxygen cylinders and the gas cylinders, propane or acetylene as well, um, you really need to have instructions and know what you're doing to set it up safely. Because there's a lot of parts, uh, things are not connected properly. If the condition of things are not correct and you don't even know what you're looking at, uh, lethal to, to, uh, to have this set up incorrectly uh, and be using it in bad condition or, or anything like that. So I've created this online course and I'm not just a jeweler that's just looked at stuff online and created an online course. I'm literally qualified for this. I can get a job on construction sites in, um, in Japan now. So I'm, I've done the training, been through all the, done all the practical, all the theory. I've been tested on everything and I passed the test. Literally it took me two attempts to get, to get through it. Not a walk in a park at all doing things in Japan like this. So yeah, I'm, I'm a qualified welder, <laughs> which is kind of funny out here in, in Japan. So yeah, I'm qualified to set up all this equipment. So I've done, I'll put this on the screen now. I've set up this online course. I have compacted down all the information I had to learn and um, get, get tested on out here in Japan. I compacted it down into this online course so it's a bit more tolerable and not like months of training like I had to do. So I've got benefits and disadvantages of using oxygen and uh, propane. This is aimed at jewelers, yeah, so I, I was quite specific about oxy-propane setups. I could have gone into acetylene and other fuel gases and stuff and butane and that, I had to learn it all. Um, but yeah, I was keeping it specific for jewelers. So the equipment I'm talking about, the hand torches and stuff, the hoses we use, is all for jewelers now. Uh, so yeah, plus minus of using oxypropane. We've got a uh, basic gas cylinder components. I went through like the torch, the hoses, uh, the pressure, pressure regulators, the gas cylinders, valves and all that. Um, just to explain a little bit about them. Uh, how to identify the gas cylinders. A lot of information on the labels. But look, at, look at the gas cylinders. You'll find a label on them. You should do anyway. And uh, all the information on those labels is really important to, to what's actually in the cylinder. Uh, anyway, so did a chapter on gas cylinder identification, handling gas cylinders, uh, maneuvering of them, transporting them and stuff, uh, pressure regulators, uh, did a section on the hoses themselves, uh, a little bit extra on the gas cylinder thread directions, stuff to learn on that. Installation, setting them all up, uh, returning your used gas cylinders, extinguishing fires, went into that a little bit, and then the health problems, potential problems you may get from uh, the toxicity of the gases we use. And um, yeah, and then finished it all off with a final exam. So yeah, I'll put a link to this in the description to the course, check it out. Like I said, I'm aware doing this kind of thing isn't fun. It's all educational and it's quite serious. So I have compacted it down into so something's gonna be tolerable for most people. And the pass rate at the end is 85%. You've got, uh, if you wanna pass the final exam, you'll get 85%. Um, and what I've done is I've chose multiple choice questions. There's the question, then you've got a choice of four answers and you've got to choose the one which is incorrect. And I've made it not too obvious as well. I really want people to actually learn it, not just go through a silly test where the answers are really obvious at the end. Um, you've actually got to pay attention to learn this to get, get through it. So, so it's my contribution. I feel a bit better about myself, about the world. <laughs> I can sleep a bit better at night now because uh, this stuff is potentially really dangerous and I want people to practice making jewelry and, and remain safe as well because it's yeah like I say these pressurized cylinders are no joke if you if you muck up if you do something wrong or you just mishandle them not knowing what you're doing uh, you can potentially not only burn your house down you can kill yourself or even worse kill someone else